Good day everyone! I am Sir Robbie, and together we will learn the word of the future robotics. Did you know that here in Educational Technology Unit, robotics is a priority to make every Filipino learners and teachers competent and meet the demands of the future global scene? Where in teachers, students, and parents who wanted to learn robotics is just a click away for free. Robotics is an interdisciplinary field which integrates computer science and engineering. It involves design, construction, operation, and use of robots to assist human activities. Are you ready for this transformation? Soon in ICTS Educational Technology Unit, come and join us and love the future para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong ito kalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Max. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Good afternoon, dear learners, viewers, students, and of course, our dear parents also who are will here with us today. Welcome back to e Now, this is already for school year 2021-2022, and I know you missed me a lot in English 7, so let us now begin our afternoon's tutorial for this um, for this session. So let me have the screen. Now today, we are going to be very privileged because you already have two, two, two tutors here. So we have tutor Arnel, but unfortunately, he cannot join us today for some very important matters. But of course, in the next days to come, he will be with us and he will be helping us learn more in English 7. So once again, I'm Tutor Dries. And I will be your guide for English 7, that is every Tuesday from 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. So, by the way, before we begin, let me just acknowledge or let me just thank SDO Navotas for allowing us to use their self-learning modules for this quarter. Thank you, SDO Navotas. So this is English 7, and today we're going to have quarter one, week one, and we will be discussing completing analogy statements. So before we begin, prepare to be amazed. Here is Tutor Dre's. So for our objectives, these are the things that you will be uh, learning today. So first, you're going to determine the meanings of new words through the use of analogies. We're also going to supply other words, expressions that complete an analogy, analyze word relationships, and make meanings using analogy. So everything about analogies, we will be learning them today. So I know you're very excited to know more about it. So another thing, by the way, you will be using these analogies in real life situations so that is really important now let's look at the picture here we have two pictures here on the screen and as you can see these two pictures are very much related to one another now can you think of what words will fit the blanks that are here on our slide what do you think are there on our slides or what are the answers for the blanks that are on our slide let me have um okay while we are waiting for some answers let me just greet our viewers here we have of course the new grade seven students so let me greet everybody from angahan high school 
grade 7 cream. And then we also have, we are now attended by grade 10 students also who are reviewing English subjects or English lessons. We also have some people here from different schools. And of course, I'm very privileged that the program head of the English department in Itolai is here with us. So good afternoon, program head May Sevilla. Thank you very much for watching. And we also have students from uh, Seven Hickory, from Grade 7 Royal, Seven Lavender, Seven Fuchsia, and Grade 7 Berry also. So Grade 7 Silang. Okay, thank you very much for watching and staying with us here. So let us now proceed with our first slide. What do you think would be the answer for our question here or our item here? Again, and let me just repeat that instruction. We have two images here, the person and a place. They might be of a different status, and of course, but they are related to one another. What do you think will be the answer for the first blank and the second blank? What will complete this statement? A blank is to a blank. So we have an answer here now from Kian Andre Vinluan. A doctor is to a hospital. Is that correct? Let's see that. Very good. Key, uh, Key and Andre, your answer is correct. That's a doctor is to a hospital. Now, as you can see, we are talking about or we will be talking about this type of activities for today. Now, let us have our first activity. So I will be or you will be asked to analyze the given pictures, identify the best picture that will complete the set. So we have five items here. All you need to do is just type in your answers using the comment box there. So I'll be acknowledging those people who got correct answers. The more particip participative you are, the better the tutor will be. So please keep on participating. Let's start off with our first item. Okay, so you have there three pictures and then one question mark. What would be that question mark for? Is it A, shrub, B, tree, C, vine, or D, bonsai? What do you think is the answer for this picture or for this question mark? This would be our first item. So when you answer, just write number one and then the letter of your choice. What would be that answer? Okay, let me have the answers now so i am also okay we have an answer now from clarence ramos he is saying that it's a d for mark paulo de leon it's also a d okay let us see emmanuel molina he says saying it's also a d okay for mark it's a tree let us look at that so are the answers correct is it a d or a C? Let me check. Okay, the correct answer is letter C. This is how we do it, right? So a mango or the mangoes there come from a tree. And then we have ampalaya there. Of course, the ampalaya would come from a vine. Okay, don't forget that. Next, let's have the next item. Okay, so you have there the cake, you have there a picture there, then you have there the very yummy lechon. What would be the question mark about? Okay, or what would it be for? Is it A, fiesta, B, Valentine's Day, C, Thanksgiving, or D, anniversary? What is your answer for number two? What would be, is, is that, uh, or I mean, the question or the answer should be A, B, C, or D, and then you just have to write the number, of course. So according to Mark, it's letter A. That's for Fiesta. To Kurt also, Althea also, and Brianna. Let us check. Is it an A? Very good, people. That's an A. So you're getting the hang of it now. Next, let's have number three. We have a cow. We have a farm. We have a crocodile. And then what? is the question mark for is it a c b an ocean c a farm or d a swamp okay. what is your answer for number three a b c or d 
we are having answers now here. Carlo is saying A, Irish is A also, Trisha is a D, and then we have the Guzman Sofia, a D also. Okay, let us check. Is that a D? Very good. So the correct answer is D, Aquiles. You got the correct answer. Next, let's have number four. Number four, we have raining clouds there, and then we have an umbrella, and then we have a sun. What about the question mark? What is the correct answer for number four? Is it A, sunglasses, B, boots, C, jacket, or D, coat? What is the correct answer? Okay, let us look at that now. So others are saying it's a D, so we're still waiting for some more. Let me just greet the principal of Mangahan High School is also with us, Mamonet P. Vega. Thank you very much for viewing. And now we have some answers. Angela Pauline Bez is saying it's an A, while Fiona Peralta is a D. Let us check what is the correct answer. Okay, you got the correct answer, Lance Neyman San Jose. It's an A. Very good. Next, let's have number five. For number five, we have a blackboard here, and then we have a teacher, and then we have a syringe, and then we have a question mark. What do you think does the question mark symbolize? Is it A, security guard, B, a nurse, then is it C, a principal, or a D, an architect? What is the question mark for? We have answers now from Krisha, it's a B, from Sana Sanaya, it's an it's a B also. So from Maria Jaslane Gonzalez, it's also a B. So let us check. Is that correct? Very good, learners. It's a letter B. So you got the hang of it now. So that only means that we can continue to our next discussion. Now, for those people who got a five, please react. I want you to flood the comment section with a heart. If you got a five for our activity, our first activity, Please comment with a heart. Let me see if you got the hearts there now. So again, let me greet grade 7 Fuchsia and grade 7 Barry also. Thank you very much for watching. So I'm still waiting for the hearts. Grade 7 Beige is also here. So the hearts are already flooding. Thank you very much. And congratulations for getting a 5. So now let us move on with this. Now, what do you think is the answer for this question? How do you think can we compare two people that are completely different from each other but have some traits in common? What do you think will we use if we would like to compare two things or two people who are completely different from each other but they have some traits in common? What do you think will be the answer for this question? Can you please try? How are you going to compare them? What are we going to use? Okay, let me see. So the, the comment section is still being flooded by a lot of hearts. So congratulations for your first perfect score in Itulai. Thank you very much for being very motivated, right? So we now have here some answers. Oh, okay, so there's still... Um, Ah, okay. We have now Kian and Draven Luan. You're very active. Thank you, Kian. And your answer is analogy or synonym. That's very, very good. So we will be using, yes, Mark, we are going to make use of comparative statements through the use of analogy. The same with the answer of Justin. So how, what are what are analogies? What is an analogy? So an analogy compares two things that are mostly different from each other, but have some traits in common. So by showing the similarity between two different things, writers help to explain further the connection which are already familiar with or which we are already familiar with. So let's have this example. Tears is to grief as to smile is to happiness. Okay, now what do you think is the meaning of these examples? So the term that means word relationships is called analogy. It is like a word puzzle. It can always contain two pairs of words and it can be abbreviated or it can be read as this one. Tears 
and then you put a colon and then grief and then you put double semicolons i mean double colons and then smile and then colon again and then we have happiness that's how you will be writing it but how you will be reading it is like this okay so tears is to grief as to smile is to happiness so the single colon represents the phrase is to and the double colon represents the word as okay so don't ever forget how to read that abbreviation so what are the types of analogies we have here five that is for the first part and then we still have some more so for the types of analogies first we have part to a whole so an example example of that would be battery is to a flashlight as a hard drive is to a computer so battery is a part of a flashlight hard drive is a part of a computer right next we have cause and effect like fatigue is to yawning as itch is to scratching right so synonym we can also have that like obese is to fat as slender is to thin for antonym or the opposites, we have poverty is to wealth, as sickness is to health. And then for descriptives, we have green is to leaves, as red is to cherry. And then a different type or the part two for the types, we have the following. A person to a situation, like mother is to home, and as teacher is to school. And then we also have geography, Metro Manila is to Pasig, as to Laguna is to Calamba. Measurement for pound is to kilogram as quart is to liter. And then for time, we have April is to summer as uh, June is to rainy. So these are examples and types of analogy. So I've already given you a lot of examples. Now, analogy can also be used as a literary device. So analogy is used in enhancing the meaning of a composition. It is also used to help readers to create a visual image in their minds, as well as relationships, goals, and connections, while reading something difficult or one thing or comparing okay sensitive by comparing one thing to another analogy also brings life and color to overly simplified explanations and monotonous and direct statements so now let us check whether you learned something today so based on the examples on the types that i have given and on the explanations that i have provided let us check whether you really understood the topic so let us complete each analogy by choosing the correct word again we have five items for this and all you need to do is just write your answer on the comment section Let's have number one. Up to down as over is to blank. Up to down as over is to blank. So let me just flash everything. Okay, your choices would be under, along, and above. Okay, those are the choices. Number two, big is to small as full is to blank. The choices are filled, empty, or blank. Number three, platoon is to soldier as team is to blank. Choices, teacher, is it student or player? Number four, rock is to heavy as feather is to blank. Choices are light, fast, or rich. And the last number we have three is to climb as ocean is to blank. The options are big, swim, or fish. Let us now see your answers. According to okay, according to Ray Aliwanag, number one is under. Is that correct? Very good, Raya. You got the correct answer for number one. That is under. Next. Number two, according to Dylan Roque, the correct answer for number two is empty. Is it correct? Very good, Dylan. You got that correctly. That is empty. Next, number three, according to Samantha Blasi, the correct answer is player. Is that correct? Let us check. Very good. That is player. Next, let's have number four. 
for number four, is it light, rich, or light, fast, or rich? Let me just check your answers. Okay, we have some answers here now. And according to John Darren S. Senya, it is light. Let me check that. Very good, Darren. It's light. Now, how about the last one? Tree is to climb as ocean is to blank. Okay, according to Janiel Vaughn Morales, it's a swim. According to uh, some more people here, Clarence also said it's a swim. Trisha also said it's a swim. And Shekinah is a swim also. Let us check. Very good, people. You got it correctly. That's a swim. So let us check now if you got everything correctly. Again, if you got a perfect score, please react with a happy face. Let's try a happy face for testing one's knowledge. Please react with a happy face if you got five correct answers. Let me check while we're waiting for their happy faces. Let me just greet um, Clarence. Kyle Talamayan, okay, happy watching, and um, also Jerian, Alia, Kainul, Jerian, I'm having a hard time reading your names, but I'm very happy that you're here. Justin is here, Samantha is here, and with happy hearts, we have John Louis Dapiawen, and Brianna is also having a lot of uh, a lot of happy faces here. Jewel also, and Hazel. Thank you very much for all those happy faces. So let's now move on. That only proves that you're ready for another activity. So let us move to the next activity. Again, we're going to have five items for this task. So let us check if you really, really understood our lesson for this afternoon. Are you now a master of analogies? Let us check that. So for this uh, activity, what you're going to do is to write the pair of words that shows the relationship of the given pair in bold letters. Okay, again, may I repeat that, that you're going to write the pair of words that shows the relationship of the given pair in bold letters. Okay, so before we begin, let me just greet Rogan Villaruel Me from grade two. Grade 2, that's very good. Masinok, grade 2 Masinok, Mahada Out Elementary School. Okay, that's a very good advanced lesson. Okay, so let's now begin with our number 1 or item number 1. Okay, number 1. Moisten is to soak as black. Okay, is it water is to sink, cool is to freeze, or oven is to fry? What do you think is the correct answer for number one? Let's check your answers now. While we're waiting, let me just greet Emmanuel Molina, Aaron Josh, Elkana, Ashley also. We have Hari. We have Akio. Okay. So what is the correct answer for this? So people are saying it's water to sink. And let me check that. Okay, we have some answers here. Oh, water is the sink. Eliza is saying it's a cool to a freeze. And John is saying it's an oven is to a fry. So you're divided into different answers. So let us check who got the correct answer. Is it Kyle? Is it Rod Radley? Is it Jose? Is it Darwin or Shekinah? Okay, let us check that. The correct answer is cool is to freeze. Okay, that's the correct answer. Why? Because moisten is an activity or is an after effect of being soaked. Okay, and cool is an after effect of being frozen. Okay, don't forget that. Next, let's have number two. Number two, we have massive is to small as blank. Is it uncle to a nephew, shack is to a cave, or giant is to a dwarf? What do you think is the correct answer for number two? What is the correct answers? Okay, we have some answers here now. And they're saying, Althea is saying it's a giant is to a dwarf. And same would be a motto. And Samantha is saying it's ankle to a nephew. Same with, um, 
We have Sophia saying it's giant is one dwarf. And we have Daphne. We have Camilla also with the same answer. And David and Eunice and Maria Angelica says it's uncles to a nephew. So let us check who among you got the correct answer. Okay, the correct answer is giant is to a dwarf. So you're correct, Tyron. You're correct also, Jerian Ashley. You're very correct. That's very, very good. Next, number three. File is to a nail. What do you think is the correct answer? File is to a nail as to blank. Wood to a plane. Hammer is to a radio or doll is to a sharp. What is the correct answer for number three? Okay. What do you think is the correct answer for number three? Please write the correct answer. So according to Rainier, it's doll is to sharp. Althea Princess is also saying the same thing. So while we're waiting for the others, yes, good afternoon, Sir R.C. Halili San Juan, and thank you for watching. Next, we have um, Hammer is to a radio, and then we also have Doll is to sharp, and Wood is to plain. So who got it correctly is Angela Best, correct? Very good, Angela Pauline Best. That's Wood is to a plane next let's have number four number four bird to wings as black is it whale to water is it car to wheels or is it pen to paper again what is the correct answer for number four please write your answer on the comment section okay we have answers now they are uh, chanel is saying it's car to wheels the Guzman Sofia is whale to water. And then um, Jan Dyron has the same answer, car is to wheels. And let us check if that is the correct answer. Very good. Maria Jaslane, your answer is correct. That's car is to wheels. Let's have the last item. Bicycle is to pedal as blank. Is it boat to oar, steering to water, or comfort to rest what is the correct answer for number five number five what is your correct answer um we now have answers here okay they're still answering number four so let's now move on to number five can you please okay we now have answers from maria marie bianca um boat to or the same with um john louis de piawen Okay, and then Kurt, Kurt Jeffrey saying it's comfort to rest. And we also have uh, steering to water. Okay, and the correct answer for number five is boat is to oar. Okay, so Achilles, you got the correct answer. Very good. Now, let us check how many got the correct answers or how many got a perfect score. If you got a perfect score, please flood the comment section with a thumbs up. Okay, if you got a perfect score, please comment with a thumbs up. So I will know who got or are there so many people who got a perfect score for our activity in evaluating one's knowledge. Please give me a, uh, what do you call this? A thumbs up. Okay, let me check. Do we now have a lot of thumbs up here so we have thumbs up from jefferson from cyrus from quinnewin and um and uh chanel and also from jerick and brianna congratulations everyone for all those five points or perfect scores now please don't forget this that an analogy compares two things that are mostly different from each other but have some traits in common. So don't forget that you'll be using that in your lesson in grade 7. And of course, you're also going to use that in your real life. So as for a summary, analogies are very important in comparing things. Analogies can be used as literary devices, and analogies can also be used in our lives. Now, Darwin, if you got only a four, it's okay. You don't have to cry. You don't have to be sad. It's okay. We still have a lot of activities in store for you for this quarter, and I know very well that you can do good in the next activities, okay? You can have that. Good afternoon to Ma'am Beverly Alporte. Thank you very much for allowing your students to watch. 
So now for our assignment, you can just take a picture of this. So the directions for our assignment will be the following. First, you're going to use the graphic organizer that we have here. And then so you're going to draw a symbol. So this is going to be like an art assignment. Now, I want you to think of symbols that will represent your family. You put it there on our first box. And then for your friends, you think of another symbol for your friends. And then another symbol for education. And then you put another symbol for dreams. Okay, now I want you to please provide a short explanation. Why do you choose the symbols for your family, for your friends, for education, and for dreams? Again, you'll be using symbols. So those are drawings. And then I want you to be very creative with this. Of course, the person or the learner with the best assignment will be featured in our next Itulai session. And of course, you will be given a badge for having the best assignment. So now how are you going to submit that? Of course, you're going to take a picture of your work and then you're going to send that to the Facebook accounts of Tutor Grace or Tutor Arnel. I'll be posting it later. I'll just be repeating the assignment again. So just to make everything clear, you're going to give me an art assignment. So please be very creative. You can use traditional drawing. And if you know about online applications in arts, you can do that. Of course, I am very fascinated with people who do a lot of things. So you can do that. Just make it very creative because the best assignment the most creative assignment will be featured in the next Itulai session. That will be on Tuesday. So your assignment will be submitted to the following. All you need to do is just, is just search for Tutor Dre's on Facebook. Okay, we have that account on Facebook. And then you send a message, of course, attaching the file for your assignment. And you can also give your assignment to Tutor Arnel. His Facebook account is Arnel Kamba. Okay, so you can use that for your assignment. Don't forget, we will be giving badge badges, okay, for those people who will be sending the best or the most creative assignments. And you will be featured in the next e to Light session. Now, cut off for the assignment will be until Friday. Okay, that will be until Friday. Okay, so now since we would like to improve the e to Light sessions, we love to hear your comments and suggestions. So for evaluation, please fill out this um link so have a screenshot of that or you may just scan the qr code and you'll go directly to our evaluation form please please be honest because that of course is for my own improvement and that concerns the whole e to lie environment or the whole e to lie community and that will of course improve us and if you improved us that will also be an improvement on your part. So again, I am Tutor Drace and Tutor Arnell is also with me in spirit, of course. So we are your tutors for English 7. Be with us once again on Tuesday. That's 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. And as the same with all the English tutors for junior high school. Thank you very much again. I hope you learned a lot. And up next, we have Tutor Rubilin and Tutor Jovet for English 8. Please do watch them also for advanced lessons. Thank you very much. God bless us all. Bye. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!